an emergency. Yeah, you, um... I'm bleeding a little bit. You got, all, you got a red alert that's going. You got this all going. Are you okay? That line goes directly to her heart, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. She's on the phone with okay. the doctors. I'm sorry, what time again? 1.30? Okay. I, I think I can make this happen. Okay. 1.30? So when I when I get there, what floor am I going to? Okay. I can't read lips. Okay. Alright, I appreciate the call. Thank you. Bye. That was the doctor's office. They want me to come in today, right away, because it's an emergency. Baby, how in the world am I supposed to take care of you when I have my... I know, I'm a your mess. broken foot. We are a mess. This is just... This was my biggest fear. My biggest fear was I wasn't going to be able to take care of you and... I'm nowhere near able to actually do what I should be doing yet. Well, how's the pain level on your broken foot today? You know what hurts the most? What? I got the I got the dad socks on for compression. Yeah. What hurts the most is I've compensated for everything and my back is killing me. And you know, three days ago, I couldn't even stand up. I couldn't even get out of bed because mm. my back hurts so bad. So I've started to actually walk on the outside and the heel of my foot which is causing more pain over in here. No matter what happens, there's gonna be pain issues. Right, because you're compensating on your... Well, that's what that's what we do, we compensate. Foot. You wanna see what things oh, look wow. like? Well, first of all... I could see the swelling. Look at the difference in the calf muscles. You see that muscle? See how yeah. solid that is? Yes. And then see, that's actually building back up after three days. It's not as flabby as it was. <sighs> all right. You want to see the oh wow, the bruising and the swelling is getting better. The bruising is not as this entire part of your foot right here was bruised, and now it's just right here in Remember this in this area. Remember when the bruise was all around here, and all of my toes turned yellow, and mm -hmm. so if you go like this, you can feel the jag in the bone. It's right here, mm. and I am swelling. You're right really now. red right in here. Does that hurt? Yeah, yeah, really, um, but. It hurt me worse not to be there with you in the hospital as you go through this emergency. So we're gonna figure it out whether I take the crutch or whether I walk in the boot, even though I'm not supposed to be walking for another... Week or so. 10 days. Um, we'll figure it out. How do you feel about going in on such this short is so notice? This crazy. They didn't even say, does this time work for you? They said, you have to be here yeah. at this time. Yeah. So I don't know what to expect. I, she just she shared with me what floor we're supposed to go to and what department to register uh, for. But I I just I how long like my how long my doctors are running out of options. I've been going through this illness since November of last year, so that's almost we're almost coming up on a almost year. Almost coming up to a year where they still can't figure out what's wrong with me, what's calling causing all of these infections, and so I'm hoping that this emergency fixes it because if it doesn't. I don't know what else to do. All right, what symptoms do you get besides uh, you can't get out of bed? When and... my when my body's alerting me and telling me, "Hey, hey, you have an you have an infection," I get the cold chills, like shivering, shivering, uncontrollably shivering, cold chills. On top of that, I get the body aches, especially in my back, and it just hurts all over, pins and needles. And then once I take ibuprofen to help alleviate the pain, then I go into hot sweats. Many of your fans, George, think that you have Lyme disease, which we already know that's not an issue. Mm -hmm. That's been ruled out. They think you have Graves disease because you get them big old eyes, and that's, that's not an issue. Out. You just got big, beautiful eyes. It has nothing to do with your thyroid. That is a whole nother sis, uh, issue altogether. Mm -hmm. With the thyroid cancer, your thyroid's completely and totally removed. This is a whole nother medical thing that's been going on that is unrelated completely to your 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 multiple it's cancer not lupus, issues. It's, it's not, not lupus. It's not fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia. It's not MS. Not MS. I mean, all They've of our fans. They've ruled all said, of that out. All of that is ruled out. All of it. Ready to go? Just bring in my crutch. Are you ready? We almost forgot your peg leg. 
That's what happens. Uber driver is handicapped. That's what happens. So when you're thinking of somebody else, you often um, you forget about to take care of yourself. Be you okay. You don't have to cry. I thought that's why we were going to the hospital because you have been sick for almost a year. No, this is like a different kind of sick. I thought I thought maybe you were crying because you were scared. I got the leaky nostrils. Are you scared? Yeah. What are you scared Very of? Very much afraid. But I'm right here with you. The unknown. Everyone's scared of the unknown. But you know I'm with you. I know. I know I'll be in good hands. Got hands. But I can't help but to be anxious. Here we go. Into the hospital. Oh my God. Mask up. We'll see what happens. We good? On the phone with the doctor still. Uh, not at the moment, I know. After a mile of hiking, we're getting closer. That was a closer. long walk for you without um, your peg leg. <laughs> we might have to have a you procedure for me, me afterwards. You okay. Special treatment. Look at this. <laughs> I'm getting wheeled. George is back there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is great. You're the man. <laughs> we were in the wrong place. We were told to go to the to the wrong place, and we were in the wrong place, and um, now we're getting taken to the right place. You feeling okay back I'm there? Oh. Doing all right? Woo! That's George right there. So here's what's happened. We came in to the kiosk. The kiosk people sent us the surgery registration. Surgery registration sent us to another department for the antibiotics. The other department said, no, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be at radiation. Radiation just said you go to, to, to registration and I can't keep up. So uh, the lady in registration, the lady in radiology just went with George to registration and I think somebody's about to get in trouble. Hanging out here, just waiting. Hopefully she gets back soon. He put us in a, in a rat race around the entire hospital and I've done over a mile on the boot and I'm not even supposed to be on the boot until September 21st. Where in the world did you go? What I'm happened? Back. What happened? The, uh, the lady here at the desk yeah. wanted to educate the kiosk readers on is, where to go because they sent us to the wrong registration is, is department. Is educate a nice way of saying yell out? They're new. Okay. So yeah, she okay. had to educate them. Okay. And so she got me to the right person. I got to cut the line because... Because we've been walking a mile. We've been walking all over. And I would walk 500,000. I would walk 500 miles just to be the man who walked For real? 500 miles in a boot. I don't know if your doctor would approve of that though just to be with you did he take the wheelchair back yes he did we have to go back there again yeah are you kidding me yes oh my goodness i gotta check in here that's another half mile walk and then we have to go back to where the the lovely male nurse helped us i was officially kicked out of the the room where they placed the pick in George. So I was allowed to go back for initial instructions because George begged for me to come back. And then after that, they went, no, you can't stay back here. So her procedure is about an hour and I'm in the waiting room now. So we go, we go from the insertion of the pick. She'll have a home health nurse come over tomorrow. I don't even know how that's all gonna work. And then we go get the first dose. So this is, a wild ride, almost of a year of a wild ride. You made it out. Yeah. And this is a protective sleeve. Okay. Oh wow, you're all hooked up and everything. Yeah. With huh. bruising already. Yeah, you look like. Just yeah. kidding. That's just dye. Oh. Okay. The blue dye. Okay. That's what they use to disinfect my skin. So now we gotta go to another place for you to get pumped filled with antibiotics. Yeah. But uh, the nurses are getting me the wheelchair, not you. <laughs> That's right. Get on my lap. Get on my lap, sweetheart. My lap. Dangerous. I'm gonna dangerous. Your other foot. Dangerous. Yeah. We're ready. We got this. I'd have to yell at you for that. This is how we roll. <laughs> this is that was your idea to put her on my lap. This is how we roll. She's like, I take it back. I take it back. How do you feel? I feel okay. All corded up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna give me the first dose of anti, anti antibiotics. Antibiotics. It's like a general antibiotic. 
that. And that's to keep you from picking your nose. So yeah. you've been doing that a little bit too much. You got a little couple cuts up there in the nostril, huh? I don't know if that's what this is meant for. But... Is that your new feeding tube? This is the pick tube. Do you want me to put uh, gummy bears, liquefied gummy bears, right in there for you? Uh, the nurse is standing right there. Chocolate? You want me to put okay chocolate right? I would just pump <laughs> chocolate right in there. Easy access. I don't think that uh, that's what this is for. The nurses told me it's okay. I don't think so, yeah. Jeremy. Yeah, it's all right. Uh oh, you're you're setting off alarms, alarms already. Alarms are going off. You're hooked up. A nurse said it's okay to do gummies as long as we get gummies too. That's your antibiotics. We'll send you gummies, nurse. Alrighty. Antibiotics okay. are we being. We hope you like pumped. Albanese. Do you like Albanese? They're the bee's knees. All right. They're so right. delicious. So they're coming down the line. It's pumping now. It's pumping. We're running. So you so got. This is about an hour. Yeah, you got an hour. hour. And then we'll watch you for at least fifteen minutes after. Okay. Make sure you're not if allergic. If you are having anything where you feel short of breath, feel itchy, feel anything different, I'm going to be just right around here, flying me down. All the antibiotics right. are there. We don't expect that, but that's why you're here. Okay. Okay? Bye. And then we have a nurse tomorrow comes to teach you how to do this every day yourself, right? Mm -hmm. We have a nurse scheduled to come out tomorrow afternoon. Supplies are being delivered today to the house for the next week. They might be there already. Yeah, and then tomorrow the nurse comes uh, tomorrow afternoon and she's going to educate us on how to administer the IV antibiotics. Who's doing it, you or me? I'm going to have you do it. I can't even walk. How am I going to administer IV <laughs> medications? I don't have a license for that. My Uber driver needs a wheelchair. What are you laughing at? It's just funny. What's because funny? all of the doctor's appointments you've taken me to, they yeah. expect a female and then they see you with this air cast. And they think you're the patient. <laughs> I tried to get the nurse to give me the bed and fluff the pillow and <laughs> you wouldn't, would you, nursey? No. I no. Yeah, you um bleeding a little bit like the bionic woman now that's that's crazy it's crazy what modern medicine can do mm -hmm. baby yes. you trying to uh, cover your fear up by working on Z YouTubes oh. you do have some time here you got an hour on the meds so all that's got to trickle and pump well, we have time to kill, so I am Baby, working on Baby, wrong stuff. word to use in a hospital right now. Time to kill? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. I think you do. Bionic arm. Nothing stops you, does it? You want to talk about me? Not stopping with my foot? Look at you. Still using your hand to hold your phone. About... 35 more minutes pumping those those meds into you. Baby. Baby. Yes? Are you okay? I'm okay. Everything's beeping. That's next door, not me. No, that's definitely you. It's all you. 100% you. We'll have a little beep. It's 100% you. No, you have major beeps. It is beeps. me? Yeah, that's you. Are you it's okay? It's not the guy next door? No, it's you. You got, all, you got red alert. It's going get this all going are you okay I wonder if that means my the drip is done they disconnected you yeah that beeping just meant uh hello I'm done I'm done unhook me well now you gotta wait a little bit of time and see if you're allergic to anything mm -hmm. yeah the nurse said 15 minutes which you're pretty much allergic to everything uh, not everything close really close I mean a lot of things but not everything Sweetheart, yeah, I love your new body art. You do? Sleeve and all. You done went and got a full sleeve on your arm. You don't mess around. Was it? What are you gonna do on the other arm? The nurse just flushed my pick line, and I could taste it in my mouth. Yeah, done flushed it. Am I gonna be able to flush you? Were you paying attention and taking notes? I have forty-five years of flushing experience, give or take a few years. Wait. 
Do yeah, I, not that kind of flushing experience. Do I still flush now, or do you have to go in after me and take care of it? I usually go in after you and take care of it. Oh, yes, George. What did the doctor call you for? Oh, well, they were actually running some tests on me today as well and came back. Doctor came back to me. I'm sick. Sick. sick of other people's drama. You the only cure I need. George, hmm? are you having an allergic reaction? No, I'm just really tired. You okay? It's hard to keep my eyes open. It's been three hours since I've been here, but I think I'll be able to go home since so the nurse is printing out the discharge paperwork, and she's got to find you a wheelchair. Now it's my turn to push you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a very good driver, by boom, the way. Boom, <laughs> the wall. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, my concern is where are you going to push me? Did you bring your hard hat? Because um, you're going to need it. Oh boy, I don't know what you have planned, but um... Just call me Nurse Ratchet. Let's do it. Kind of normal. I mean, I'm gonna clean this out yeah, that... Monday. Okay. When I come back. So we're gonna clean this out to make sure. Okay. Yeah, that's all after we got back from the hospital. Yeah. So we were concerned so, about it until yeah, you came today. Some of it is gonna seep out because it's a fresh line. Yeah. So hopefully a lot of that's But I'm, I'm not going to be touching any of this. Oh, though, no, right? no, no. I'm the one that's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't have to do with the blood. I just, no, you're going to no. teach me how I'm, to do all I'm this. I'm the one that's going to be touching See, all that. Okay. Can you teach her chicken how to do this too? Yeah, the chicken, the chicken are out there. They to need to, uh, they're out there. <laughs> they come. Well, how many do you have? 14. 14 and one rooster. Yeah. So 13 hen and, and one rooster. Yeah. Yeah. They stay around here. They, they don't go yeah. after the others. There's enough there's enough property. There's nowhere else to go. Oh my. You have a beautiful property it's by the way. It's gorgeous. <laughs> so the only the only part that you're going to touch is from here okay. to here. Yeah. Just that. <sighs> You're gonna have to teach me everything. <laughs> I will. This is the okay. ivy pole. We'll put ivy it together. Pole. And this is this is all the antibiotics, right? These antibiotics are all the IVs. And you have this is that's, that's that's only medication. that's one week's worth. Yeah. Holy cow! I'm gonna be busy. <laughs> so let me see. One, you are a three, mess. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. No, this is that's for the whole. Two, that's that's, it, that's okay. a whole two weeks. Okay, that's so we're good there. Okay, so this is the pole. 14 days per doctor's so, order. So this bowl, you can take anywhere, parts of the house. Okay. If you feel like uh, getting the infusion, like in front of a TV, you know, or upstairs in the bedroom. We've never turned that TV on yet. We should do that someday. I don't even think it's plugged in. Probably not. <laughs> so, um. Well, that pole goes all the way up. Yeah. The chickens are coming to see how you're they're, doing. Too. Yeah, they're checking up on their mama. Checking up. Oh my they just, goodness! They're like, hey, is mama okay? Is mama gonna feed us? Very nice. Like, where's our treats, mama? Where's our treats? Very nice. That line goes directly to her heart, right? Yes. Yes. So this feed it's is just going above right... her heart, but not in her heart. Okay. It's actually in her subclavian vein. I that's exactly what I was thinking. It was so the, the line is literally this like, long, going all the way all up the way right to your here. heart, and oh, it wow. sits above your heart. Wow! Right, right. So your subclavian vein it branches into two. You have one on the right, and you have one on the left. So this one sits right on the left subclavian vein. That makes sense. Why it took the nurse twenty minutes to do this. <sighs> This is a big responsibility for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After a while, you'll be like, oh, I can do this. You can do it in your sleep, she it's says. No big deal. She's confident in you. She she knows how skilled I'm, I'm I am. I'm very confident. <laughs> you, don't want me to, you don't want me to fumble this one up, do you? No. You're not going to fumble this. <laughs> she, she doesn't know me very she well doesn't, yet. She, she does doesn't know I have a broken <laughs> foot right now. She doesn't, because I'm not wearing my boot. No. Okay, so, really this well. is the dressing change. We will not use this today. Okay. We will use that uh, Monday when I come back. Okay. All right. <laughs> if I have to do it, then she has to film so I know how to do it. All right. Okay. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to switch so I have my instructional video. Oh, 
I actually can't do this right now because the pharmacy did not send all of the right supplies. So we don't have the IV tubing. So the nurse is trying to get the tubing so that I can take care of George. Mm. They they said enough for two Baby, weeks. I think you're tubular. Her, um, you're tubular. What about a tubular? You're tubular, but uh, you're out of but tubes. There's no tubing. Here. Oh yeah. No tubing. That's important. It's an important piece. That's mm. all important. With that much so they have, medicine, they gave me yeah. An extension. So the meds go up here, and the tubing that we're missing that goes into the pick line. Hmm. And if we don't get the medication in her, it's not good. Hopefully the pharmacy can deliver it. Okay, well, may I have one, and then we'll have to call the pharmacy and tell them to... Okay. Two tubes? That's two tubulars. Yes. I need 14 tubes. Please. Nurse Carolina has to go get tubing. I got lucky. You're not going to get the ones yet. Oh, I was starting to get nauseous. I was starting to get nauseous. I think you're just getting hangry. You're confusing no, 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 the no, two no, with no, being no, no. hangry. I see, I see blood and I start getting dizzy. You're not going to get nauseous. You're just, nor, you're going to train me right. Nor throw up. There's no blood involved. Well, there is blood involved. Just medicine. Just medicine. But you're not going to let it spill. No, no, I won't let any of it spill. Nope. Never. <laughs> not me. I'm not fumbly like that. Okay. All right. I'll be back. Okay. Nurse Caroline has got to go back to the office and get two tubes, and then the pharmacy has to send two weeks of tubes. No, I hope you come back. I'm just, I'll, I'll do fine. I promise. I promise. And she's gonna teach me exactly how to do this uh, for George. No, no pressure. But uh, if air bubbles get into that line, right into her heart. So, you know what? There is, there's a lot of pressure on me right now. Oh, we're gonna open both of them. So you open that one, I open this one? Mm-hmm. Okay, piece of cake. Oh, these already have fluid in them. Yeah, this is saline. Okay. This is normal saline. All right. So you see that space of air in there? Yep. So you're going to click. Uh, not too fast because if you push... Uh, squirt right in It's gonna eyes. squirt like all of it out. Okay. So what I tell... My patience. The air right there. I have to get the so air. So you out. see that bubble right there? So don't touch that. Don't touch that tip. And then. If you want, this is. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And then don't touch that don't touch cap. So, okay. Okay, so you're done with that. <laughs> you did great, honey. I'm not so sure how good of a nurse. No, he sweat. did fine. No, no. I sweat. shot some in your eye, didn't I? <laughs> okay. This one I have to mix. You have to mix this. So there's a break. I don't know if you could see it. There's uh, like a yep. indentation. Yep. Yep. So with your left hand and then your right hand, your right hand is gonna hold this part here, and then you're going to. Oh, so just bend. Yeah. Okay. So just bend. I think I got it. I think. Did it bend? Mm-hmm. Or did I break something else? Let's see. It's supposed to be Jeremy Brew. I told you I could fumble it up. No, you didn't fumble. You were so convinced that I wouldn't have any problems. And look, <laughs> I've already shot somebody in the eye with saline. The antibiotics. Good thing are it's breaking. only saline. This should easily break. You want me like, to try again? Yeah, I don't have a lot of strength in my hand. Okay, so I definitely broke right there. Okay. You see? Yeah. Okay, so what you're gonna do is invert that and push some of that saline. Can you see it? Okay, I see it going in okay. now. Okay, I see it so going in now. So you push it as much as you can. There we go, it's filling yep. up. more, 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 more. Push, 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 push. I don't want to burst the whole bag. Push, push. Because okay. I feel like I can burst the bag. No, you're not. These are strong. Okay, so now it's mixed. So now, 
<laughs> I'm just saying, bag versus me. Now you're gonna do this. Okay, okay. So mix, 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 mix. Shake, 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 shake. it up. Shake it, shake it, shake. Shake it, shake it, shake. <laughs> you see like this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. How should I answer that, Jeremy? <laughs> you can be honest. Okay, so you're gonna look to see that everything is mixed, that there's no powder. Okay. 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 That, well, everything, that everything is mixed, and it should be mixed. as uh, close to clear. It's not. You don't want it like cloudy because you'll see sediments down okay. in the bottom. Okay. So what you're gonna do is invert it like this. Okay. Okay. Hold it. Hold the bottle in with your left hand, and then with your right hand, you're gonna squeeze this, the bag. Which is gonna squeeze push the. It, squeeze. It's gonna push the air. It's gonna push the air and then, and then rip it down. Yep. Oh, nice. See? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Now you're done mixing. We got a good mixture. This is ready to go. You want to close this. With the roller clamp, close it all the way. So I've never used a roller clamp before. So just roll back that close. All the it. way. To, yeah. Boom! Just like You're that. You're closed. closed. Okay. All right, I can do that. And then. Close for business. Okay, so with this close, mm -hmm. you're going to spike this. Okay. And. So we're going to spike that. All right. Let's put the end, the other end right here. So. All right. So these two things are sterile. Okay. Don't touch either of them. Well, when you open it, don't touch. Okay. Okay. So the first thing you'll do is pull this. Um, you're not a multitasker like me. So what you're going to do is. Not a multitasker. That aside. <laughs> Pull that. Okay, the, pull that off. That rubber cap. And then, I don't know if you can. I'm, I'm taller than you. Okay. I may not be a multitasker, but I am a tall right. giant. So, so inside it is sterile. Okay. So it's okay if that part touched that uh, cap. Okay. So now, you're going to pull spike it. Pull that off. And then you're going, going to spike it. And then push right up through. Yep. Okay. And that broke the seal on it, right? Yeah, there's a seal here. Okay. And then it broke that. Okay. So this has a nozzle. I never use this one. So let's so see. So this is a valve, right? That's a valve. And if I open it, open it like this. So we shouldn't open it. Oh, okay, so close it. Let's keep it closed and then take the end of this. See how you're going to open it. It's a long tube. It is. So you're going to prime the tubing. Um, okay. I thought this would be like a five minute deal. Or this you're is... going to flush. But be careful because this is her medication. Yeah. You don't want to waste all of that. Mm. So you're going to just flush the line all the way until you see like a couple droplets come out. I kind of fill this with that. A little squeeze. A little squeeze so you'll see some of that mm -hmm. fluid enter that chamber. And, and then so this is down coming right down. There. So you, you're going to open it a little bit more. See how it's coming down? Yep. Mm -hmm. You don't want to see any bubbles or any air into the line. Okay. As you see it dripping, that you're going to close it. that. Okay. 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 Now, this is all ready. So you kind of examine the line, make sure there's, there's no, no air, bubble air bubbles. So we're good. Okay. So this Hang is on. ready to go. I can do this. You can do it. I can do this. <laughs> okay, now you're ready to hook this one to her. But I have to flush her first, right? You have to flush oh. it, I and mean... then you have to see the blood return. Oh, that part's going to make me a little bit nauseous. <laughs> I didn't it's know that not... blood makes you nauseous. <laughs> it's not. Okay. Once you see we'll the okay. blood return, once you see that flash of blood, then we're okay. when you draw back, then you push 
uh, the syringe all the way in or the plunger. So okay. you're gonna flush that line so in her. So we grab one of these. So you're gonna grab one of those. We gotta have the alcohol pad. This tubing here. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that it's closed. Which right now it is because it is it's... closed. Okay. Right. So because it's closed, we can do this. So you have. You're gonna take the cap alcohol. off. I'm gonna take the cap off. Now, when you set this down. You're not going to set it down like this. You're gonna set it down uh, upside down. And we were told like to never reuse those. That we always have to okay, have a new so, one. Okay. So, but this time because they didn't give us any cap, you're going to reuse okay. it, and you're going to um, kind of sterilize it. Okay. Okay. So now you're gonna take your I'm take my alcohol, pad, and you're going to just clean it all off. Yep. Get the tip. Yep. Okay. All right. You're good with that. Good. Okay, now you're going to connect that. I'm going to take that off. You have to twist that. No, we've got no bubbles. No bubbles. Definitely no okay, bubbles. Okay, so you're going to take your left hand and hold this. Okay. Hold this part. And then and twist then push, that yep. in. Okay. Okay, now you're at this point, so you're going to open this. Okay. So I want to draw back and see blood. Yeah. So I'm going to draw back. Okay, I see blood. Okay, and then push it back. Okay, and then I want to put it all in, right? Yeah. And give her all the saline. Okay. Mm. You taste it, don't you? How did you know? Because you did at the hospital. Yeah. Okay, I can now you're taste going the saline. Okay. So, with that I can still leave there, that hanging. you can leave that hanging. I'm it's gonna, not going to hurt her. I'm going to take the now cap. I'm take this. Over there. No cap. I'm going to take this off. Which I'll unscrew it you, next time. Yep. Okay, now take off that cap. Which comes off of here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm gonna screw that. Okay, here you go. Yep. So we'll do the transition. Onto here. Mm -hmm. Make sure that's tight. It's good and okay. tight. Now you're going to open that. Okay, I'm gonna open you up to your meds. Now, okay. remember, that's not gonna flow because why? Because we're still here. clamped here. Okay, now you're gonna open this. We want to go all the way wide. Mm -hmm. That's wide open. Let's see. It's wide open, it says. Okay. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. And then I flush it. Then I so, flush it when she's all done, right? At the end, you're going to disconnect from here. You, you're going to clamp, clamp first. Disconnect. Before you disconnect. Flush. Flush. Clamp. Connect. See? It's like plumbing. It's like plumbing a house. I can do this. <laughs> I can do it this. is plumbing. Minus the plumber's crack. <laughs> disconnect. Okay, disconnect. And Sorry. then just let that go. Sorry, I'm not too familiar with all this yet, so I know I'm shaking you around a little bit. That's good. Okay, disconnect, disinfect. Mm hmm And then I'm going to flush her again. Yep. Just gonna double check. Yep, we're good. Yep. Okay. And then draw back again. No, this time just you flush her. Yeah. All right. Oh, before you do I that, have to unclamp. Have to... Yeah. <laughs> Would help. That's okay. This is help you... if I unclamp. Oh. That's 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 a safety. That's why we need. That's why we clamp. We're doing what we're doing. Yep. Does speed mean anything as far as when I'm flushing no. her? Mm. I'll probably taste it more. The faster I go, the more she tastes metal. Yeah. <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> I could you taste like it on my tongue. Is it delicious? No, not at all. It's salty. Mm, it's like Sal metallic -y. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the medication. So go ahead and, <laughs> then you can go clamp, ahead and her. clamp her. All right, and then I'm going to okay. disconnect her. Disconnect. And if you want to... New cap. All right. You could... 
use this one and then use that tomorrow because you don't have the IV tubing yet. So clean this one off. Clean that one off really good. Clean this off really, really, really good. You're doing great. I haven't passed out yet. <laughs> That's a good thing. All right. All right. She's clamped. Mm -hmm. And now she's capped. Just like that. No Just cap. like that. And then this, you can throw away all this. I'm ready for a nursing degree. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready. Nurse, where's my bell? <laughs> <laughs> Hello.